Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome back to the Garage Gym. And in today's video, we have a one year updated review of this right here, the Squat Max MD. And we've done quite a few videos here on the YouTube channel, including an initial review, six month updated review, as well as a dedicated review on the hip thrust attachment. And most recently we did the Garage Gym Tour. Finally did the Garage Gym Tour. 1.0 because garage gyms are never finished and the squad max was definitely something we did a mini review on but i figured after a year because we try to do updated reviews to give you the most amount of information so you make the best choice as a consumer so this here has been in my home gym in georgia and then transport it via a pod down here to Florida. Nothing broke. It's built like a tank. I can't really say much more about the build quality, except it's excellent. Uh, it is literally built like a tank. I know I use that term a lot with a lot of build quality on a lot of equipment, but this feels like a tank. It's built <laughs> the steel on it. It's nothing is getting damaged as far as I know. And moving it with a bunch of furniture and other pieces of gym equipment, had absolutely no problem with it. And breakdown from Georgia took about 15, 20 minutes. Setup took about 20 minutes as well. So you can break this down and set it up very quickly. And I think the theme with the Squat Max as far as breakdown setup as well as switching attachments is practice makes perfect. So the more you do this, you'll be able to do it quicker. And Brian demonstrates this. Brian is the inventor of the Squat Max, fellow Philly guy. So shout out to Brian. Brian demonstrates how you can set this up in probably as little, again, I think two minutes or something like that. Uh, but even if you take your time, it's 15, 20 minutes, and it's pretty self-explanatory on the assembly, disassembly, and reassembly of the Squat Max. So also, I've moved this around quite a bit. So it was initially across the gym over here and facing another way, and we have concrete floors here in the garage gym. So it's very easy to move fully assembled into here and if you have two people it's going to be even easier but i was able to move this itself with a 45 pound plate on the loading pin no problem at all so it makes quite a bit of noise it screeches or it it drags across the floor but you can move this around when i have to completely disassemble it and then reassemble especially a short distance from one side of this gym to the other it wasn't worth doing all that so very easy to move very heavy duty but very uh, portable in a lot of ways. So that's a strange combination, but it's one that I really, really like. So the Squat Max is a belt squat. So let's start off with the belt. We have it right here. It has the name Henny. They also have a product called the Henny uh, attachment, which basically simulates jammer arms and all sorts of sports related exercise. You need to check that out. That's a really cool piece of equipment as well. But this belt right here, has held up extremely well. It's got a lot of sweat on it from the workout that we just did before filming this review. And also there's plenty of belt loops here for someone as short as my wife, right around five foot, five foot one, to myself, six foot two, and then people even taller than me. I don't know what the exact height range is from short to tall, but I have to say it's pretty, you know, it's pretty accessible for everybody to be able to use this with this belt so no complaints here and like i said it's held up well uh it's a little sweaty i probably could spray it with febreze or something but i don't know if it's machine washable but it's it's held up and it's it's awesome so let's talk about some of the attachments for the squat max right here we have a narrow stance plate and this is really excellent to be able to be used obviously for narrow stance squats, but also to put this in there and to be able to do some isometric exercises. We hooked this up in the initial review, so check that out. The link for that will be in the description below. And I'm not even gonna uh, cut because I wanna show you how uh, heavy this particular uh, riser is for the squat max. Now I couldn't use this particular riser. You can see here, you could fit even more weight here uh, on the squat max, but this thing here enables you to be able to get extra height, extra weight onto the squat max. I could not use this in the previous home gym in Georgia. Our ceilings are high enough to do so now, but I don't lift heavy anymore. I don't lift that heavy uh, form and protecting my lower back and, and not trying to hurt myself are key. It's more like physical therapy when I do my workouts. So I haven't really utilized this a whole lot, even though I have the ability now with 12 foot ceilings to use something like this and it's really, really heavy. So be careful, put it back here. 
and we're gonna go right into the next attachment, why not? No fancy editing. Hip thrust attachment. Now the hip thrust attachment is the excellent, so you don't have to roll a barbell back and forth. You can get different levels of intensity, different levels of obviously resistance, even using the bands for strictly variable resistance and no plates on there. That's what I like about the squat max. You can use the bands, you can use variable resistance without even adding one plate onto the squat max. And this hip thrust attachment, which we did a dedicated review on, is excellent. Now my back is currently slightly still injured in my lower back area. And that's what I want to get to now. So I couldn't do the hip thrust, but what I could do was decompression. I could just do a stand, put the belt around my waist, stand there, have the weight and decompress my spine. And this is something I do, whether my back is hurting or not, before and after each and every workout, whether I'm working my legs or back or whatever body part, or even just cardio, I do this and it is a, oh, it's unbelievable. It's like standing traction. It's like a standing inversion table. And it, it's something that really sold me on this. The whole element of protecting my back and having spinal injuries, neck injuries, uh, but also to be able to prevent further degradation of those injuries or inflammation of those injuries, but also preventing any new injuries from occurring. So this is very much the squat max, in my opinion, is more of even a physical therapy device rather than a home garage gym or any gym space kind of equipment. Uh, physical therapy for me would be the number one way to describe what the squat max does in my fitness journey. So here is the pad that most people think is just for chest supported rows and exercises like that. You can see the little J hooks down here to be able to do those rows. As a matter of fact, on the garage gym tour, we B-rolled some footage there, as well as the review of the Freedom Barbell, which is a shorter barbell, which makes it a lot easier to load and unload something like this, because your barbell is going to uh, kind of do the pendulum effect because they're not spread out wide enough. And that would be one particular thing I think they would improve on is to widen these J-hooks out to the very edge. So I don't know if you can currently do that. I do not think you can, but if they put them right on the end there, but it might hurt the integrity of the stands that you have right here. So now that I see that, if they could get it even closer to the edge here and here, that might make it possible to be able to load and unload the barbell. It's first world problems, not a big deal. I can easily load and unload everything there. Uh, this seat pad is adjustable as far as height. Also, you can turn it in, and this is an integral part of using the hip thrust attachment. Also, you can do hyper extensions. I've seen Brian do the hyper extensions on this. I haven't dared do it with my back injury as of yet, but they are possible. Also, he's done incline chest presses with the dumbbells, one arm incline chest presses with this. So there's a lot of different possibilities that this could essentially be kind of an all-in-one trainer when you talk about doing this, adding this pad, hip thrust, be able to do low rows, uh, not low rows, but bent over rows, and be able to do deadlifts and stuff like that with different attachments. It's, it's really the, the, the options are really, really uh, full and thorough when you add stuff like this and the hip thrust attachment uh, to the squat max. So this right here, I feel like is the deal maker for the squat max MD and it's called the transformer pin. So basically here, if you do nothing else, say you just want to squat, doesn't matter if it's narrow stance, wide stance, whatever it is, here you can do three different types of squats to three, hit three different areas of your legs. So here we have right here in the back, I believe that's glute focused, the center, and then here, I believe, will be more quad-focused in the front. Also, we don't want to... There, I didn't get my fingers. That was like take number four. So this here, the transformer pin, I don't believe it can be overstated enough. It's a very, very integral part of me to be able to do a full leg workout within the squat max without adding even the hip thrust, any other attachments, doing any other exercises, just doing squats in these three positions, and there's even a hole under here, so I can go to a different uh, level or different depth here and essentially do six different variations of squats. I use all three more, more than anything, what I like. The center is what I start off with. Uh, the front part might be my least favorite, but I, I, that's only because it just has a weird feeling, and I need to do it more because I'm probably weak in that. The glute focus one, or the, the back of the... Um, 
transformer pin position is my favorite. Everything feels lined up. And also I feel weak in that area, but in a way it, it feels right to be able to do this. So I start off in the middle and then I usually go to this part and just leave it like that. So that about does it for this one year updated review of this right here, the Squat Max MD. And I have to say, this is definitely, at least in my opinion, the best belt squat on the market. And I believe it expands beyond a fitness journey. As I explained earlier, this is more of a physical therapy and injury rehab device for myself. Decompression device replaces an inversion table and all within pretty much a small footprint. It, it looks huge, but it doesn't take up a whole lot of space when you consider the utility and the effectiveness of the Squat Max. In my opinion, like I said, it is the best belt squat on the market, well worth the investment, and this thing is gonna be my gym until, God, I don't know, I don't know. As long as God has blessed me or granted me the blessing of being on this earth, I'm gonna be using a squat max. So as long as I'm healthy enough to be able to do squats, I will do it. So that I, I didn't even have a, I'm just gonna keep it. It's, it's here. So you're gonna see in 18 months, two year, five year, 10 year, however long I'm here, you're gonna see a squat max update or review. So check it out. The link is in the description below. Also, we have some affiliate links and codes in the description below for other brands like Force USA, Diamondback Fitness, Lid Method, Strength Machine, The Climber, our recommended brands at stevierichardsfitness.com. Don't forget about the adjustable dumbbells from PowerBlock, all the stuff we use over the past months and even years. These are our recommended brands that we test out and we quite literally try to break and we can't do it. So uh, maybe I'm getting weaker, but I'm trying my best. So I have broken some stuff, but everything here right now has currently survived my violent use. So thank you guys so much. God bless each and every one of you. Have a great day.